Hmm. Nice fancy hairdo. So what do you want out of me? D -d Hello? I'm, I'm talking to you. Do you... Hello everyone, welcome back to Regrowth. I'm trying to figure out this seer stone thing. It's it, it it's giving me some trouble. Anyway, let's summon another coven, coven witch and let's see if we can get another quest here. Very nice, fancy purple robes. Bring me the means to control the dead. Speak to me again if you accept. Well, that sounds like brew of raising to me. No, that sounds like necromantic stone to me. Okay. Let's bring both, just in case. But yes, I was out in the wilderness, because I figured out that I could use the Seer Stone to just summon the Coven of Witches for miscellaneous occasions. So, Necromantic Stone, is this what you want? Well, she was easy. Sophia Knight. But yeah, check this out. Zoomp. Zoomp. Yeah, I'm not sure who this third person is. I'm fairly certain I only have Andromeda Dark and Sophia Knight actually in my coven. This third person is mysterious. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't really do anything between episodes. And, and yes, they appear to... Uh, they, they teleport away again after a little while, so I don't need to worry about them too much. They can take care of themselves. So, let's get back over here, and let's see what we can do for today. Eh, I'll put that away for now. Okay. Yeah, this one quest with unclaimed rewards, it, it appears and disappears, and it, it's annoying me, and I'm not sure, like, I still don't know what this is. That looks like a witchery book, so let's do some witchery quests. Let's see if any of these quests will do it. Well, the witch hunters, hmm. Those who dabble in curses, vampiric poppets, and voodoo poppets. Okay, so maybe if I make and use a vampiric poppet, it'll it'll work. What does a vampiric poppet even do? Hold on, let me go research. Okay, vampiric poppets actually look like they're pretty cool. Apparently, what they allow you to do is they allow you to transfer damage that you take and put it onto something else. Just straight up damage, any damage. So, let's see here. Voodoo, Poppet Protection Poppet, Armor, Tool, Vampiric. Yeah, it's just some wool of bat and other stuff. It's a very simple one. So I take that, and I have here a Flesh Golem that I threw together real quick. Now I'm just going to go down into my base near to the Poppet shelf. And I'm going to plonk this guy down. And I'm going to put him in some Brew of Flowing Spirit for the regen effect. I'm going to put him down. Give him a Fez. And then I should be able to take a Tag Lock of him. Yeah, look at that. Tag Lock of Flesh Golem. So then I bind the Vampiric Poppet to that. No? No? Hello? I was hoping I had a really cool damage sink here. It should... Okay, let, let's... Let's logically put this on something that must work. I'm not going to try it on myself, but... Let's try... I don't know. Let's summon a pig real quick. Mm. 
There we go. Okay, bind to pig. No? Hmm. Oh! Oh, obviously, I have to bind it to myself first. Yeah, because I can make a voodoo doll for someone else. Okay, that's a, that's a really quick fix. I just need another tag lock kit. And then I need to go and use it on a bed I've slept in. A boop. Okay. Now, I should be able to bind it all to myself and to Flesh Golem. Ah, I can see it there. Yeah, Doc Robot the Flesh Golem. Okay. So that's an interesting kind of mechanic, I guess. Okay, and now let's see if it'll work. And let's let's try it with, I don't know, well, I don't have a sacrificial knife or something I can damage myself with in the system. Okay, so it should just block straight up damage. So if I use this knife, it should... Hmm. Yeah, that's not transferring. Hmm. Well, that's that's one plan for an early game blood magic accelerator gone. Okay, let's try this instead. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be really working. Me to question mark. Did the golem die already? He did. Well, that's really lame. <sighs> I guess that's just another another appearance of the problems we have with golems and chunk loading and regeneration, I guess. So can I can I rebottle it to get the brew of flowing spirit back? No, not really. I know I can get a bucket of flowing spirit, but brews of flowing spirit are useful for some distillery operations. Oh well, waste not. Bucket of spirit. Yeah, and this thing is just a we is just a means of moving the liquid around. Well, vampiric poppets ended up being a bit less cool than I thought they would be. And unfortunately, it didn't seem to summon a witch hunter. So let's try making a voodoo poppet. Pretty simple. Okay. I think I can rebind this tag lock. The voodoo poppet is kind of, uh, well, it's, it's exactly what it is. It's a voodoo doll. A classic Hollywood style voodoo doll. Just gonna bind it to myself. I don't think I'll really take damage from anything it does, but we'll try. There we go, voodoo doll of myself. So if I sneak click with this thing, I think I should be able to... No, is it just right click? Huh. Oh, I see. I can kind of throw myself around. Just a tiny little bit. I can, I can nudge myself. And I think if you throw the poppet into water... 
Your target should... Well, I won't because I have water breathing. And protection poppets and just layers and layers of stuff. Or is it using it with a water bucket? I forget. It's been a while since I read through the wiki. No, that's not it. I should be able to set myself on fire, though. Nothing happened. Oh well. And still no witch hunters. Can I maybe get a witch hunter egg? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh well, let's make these let's make these toads. So for that I'm gonna need to find a slime. Well, I should have some slime eggs. Yep. And you know me, I'm just gonna take my Diabolist fork and make a spawn egg for them. Or make a spawn crystal for them. Mm-hmm. Okay, and now I just need some more critter snares. How are those made again? Alder saplings, a web, and a zombie. Hmm. Tracking down a zombie is going to be a little bit interesting. Maybe there's something I can try. Let's try this Rod of the Shaded Mesa. This thing is used to pick up and move monsters much easier than using a lead. Let's see here, if I can... Well, I don't even need that, I could just... Oh, hello! What do you know? The problem was vanity's emptiness this whole time. Oh, you guys are fun at parties. They must have been doing hellacious damage to get through my armor like that. Oh, man. Whoa. Why was I so... Oh man, it's happening again. Oh shoot, you know what it is? They drained my blood network somehow. They somehow drained my blood network. And now I'm getting this nausea because, because, <laughs> oh man. Must get altar refilled. It probably turned off the well of suffering. There we go. Nope, the Well of Suffering is fine. Okay. Well, that was an interesting lesson. Pay attention to the Blood Network.
There we go, energy refilled. Man, that's the first time in how long since I died? Yeah, just look at that. They straight up drained my blood network. How did they do that? I'm not even really mad. That's just kind of amazing. So I guess now we know. Don't mess with witch hunters. Ah, here's a... Here's a volunteer. Yeah, look at this. I can't really run forward at full speed because he'll he'll he has to rubber band away. And then I can just dupe. And I forgot my mutating sprig. Maybe I should make a spawn crystal out of him. Eh, nah. So now I can take my little Where did the slime crystal I made go? Somehow I put it back into my into my network. Okay, slime. Oh, I got big ones. And still, it filled up very, very quickly. Yes, yes, you're all very cute. Listen to them struggling to escape. <laughs> you cannot, you are mine! And I will turn you into frogs. Yes. Note that we spent like four Limus summoning all those slimes. And we got 16 Limus worth of slime balls out of them. There are a bunch of mobs that turn into more Essentia than what they're worth. They are, they are farmable like that. Let's keep the Rod of the Shaded Mesa, since I have a slot freed up from getting rid of my bookbinder. It ended up being fairly useful. Okay, so I need to summon and kill a toad. Two to four ensnared small slimes and an ocelot. Okay. And I think I actually saw an ocelot running around. Like it spawned from the small jungle biome I have. So... Why not? We'll just make spawn crystals as we end up needing things. Okay, let's go hunt an ocelot. Well... Yeah, I've got eggs. Let's not bother with that. Okay, come back here. Mm-hmm. And let's get the Shaded Mesa out. There we go. That was weird. Nope, you come here. You come here. Nope, nope, nope. No running. No running away. <laughs> Hurting cats? How about levitating cats? That that was possibly the lamest joke I've ever made. 
I regret nothing. Mm, yep. In you go. And a boop. A boop. A, a zoop. Okay, that's... Oh, shoot. Huh. Oh, then place four graspers at the corners of the square and in them place a charge of tombstone and three mutandus extremists. <sighs> RTFM, newbie. Okay, just get in there. No, 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 no. You get in there. Maybe I'll get the cat after I get the graspers sorted. Yeah. I am finally running out of that big batch of charged attune stones that I made. Which is maybe a good thing, because I figured out a really fun way to do them that I've wanted to show off. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. Now let's go find yet another cat. See, it's a good thing we made the spawn crystal. Come on. Come on. You just get right on in there. And there we go. Toads. Oh, that's musical. These guys can be tamed with good old-fashioned rotten flesh. There we go. And see, they can even be bred, I think. Why you know? Ah, it's because I ordered them not to move. Yes, that that was the sexy mating dance. Okay. Now I just need to order them all to sit still. Yeah, I think when their legs are down like that is when they're sitting still. And the quest called for me to kill one. Doop. Ooh. Re. I probably should have killed him with the Arthana because you get Toe of Frog from that, which I believe is a potion ingredient. Ah, yes, and of course, those Witch Hunters. Did that finally unlock the quest in... No. It's looking like the only quest left in Witchery is the final boss. At least the only one that I can see. And I don't want to do that right now, so let's go back to Circle Magic. I could either... You know, this looks promising. This looks like it might be the book, so it wants me to make this brazier. And also I'm going to move these frogs to somewhere where they make a bit less noise. BRB. Okay, so this brazier... 
It's fairly simple. The most complicated bit is just that necromantic stone. This thing is used for setting up rituals involving spirits. I think I'm just going to have it right on here in my circle. So, yeah, I guess just that in and of itself was the quest. And no other quests are unlocked yet. That's interesting. I thought that would be like a line of them. Anyway, is that the book? That's the book. I summon thee. It, it's it's called something a bit less evocative. Damn. Mm -hmm. And, uh, boop. And I should be able to just open that once. And then it should appear inside this thing. Yep. Okay. Neat. And before I throw it out, yes, that's the quest. And is that... That is yet another chapter complete. So now we are down... We are down from the first nine chapters, as well as chapter 11. Well, I was already morally bankrupt anyway, so... All right. Well, let's let's go for it. Let's see if we can complete that witchery. Well, no, that witchery chapter is the final boss. So let's look in our circle magic. Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe that book unlocked. No. Ah, now it unlocked the undead quests. Friends on the other side. I've not seen that movie. So it wants me to make a spectral stone and a brew of revealing. A necromantic stone can be improved to a spectral stone by infusing it with a number of different spirit-related things. In a rite of necromancy, page 69, on the circle magic, okay? Let's do that brew of revealing first. That is really simple. Yeah, okay. I might even have that potion on hand. No, that's an eight-minute version. Darn. Okay, BRB.